gonna quickly go. I'm gonna do this as I lost my marker now. Okay, I'm gonna do this as uh, five. Uh, negative two, three, and 27. Two, negative one, and one, and 10. Six, two, three, and 25. All right, so I was talking to a few people. There's many different ways to get a one, okay? The, the two ways to do it are to multiply the second row by negative two and add to the first row. That will work. The other thing you can do is you can subtract the first row from the last row and do it that way. Either way will work. So I'm going to do it as um, subtract row one. Now, if you didn't do it this way, is it wrong? No, it's not, which is what makes this test so, such a pleasure to mark for me, OK? Um, because there's literally an infinite number of ways you can do this. 2 minus negative 2 is 4. 3 minus 3 is 0. And that should be negative 2. What's that? Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Thank you. That would have really caused me great grief in about three lines when I. Thank you very much. Okay, so now you can do one of two things. Number one, you can move the one to the top corner, or you can get rid of making them zeros first and then move it at the end. I'm going to make them zeros first and move it at the end to the top left. I should not move it to the top left first. I'm going to switch one and three. So that's going to be um, one. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make 0 on the bottom left. So I'm going to subtract 2 times 1. <coughs> and I'm going to subtract 5 times 1. So it's going to go to uh, 1, 4, 0, negative 2. Uh, 0, OK, 2 times 4 is negative 8 minus 1 is negative 9. And 1 and 14. 0. Uh, 5 times 4 is 20. It's going to be negative 22. And 3. And 37. Wait, why is it not 0? Which one? For the after negative 9. <coughs> what are we doing? Why is it negative 9? So I did negative 2 times 1 is negative oh, 2, right? Okay. But I, I, all right, now this is where life's going to get tricky here. 9, 18, 27. <coughs> I don't really have a good way to do this. <coughs> what I think I might do, yeah, I don't have a good way to do this. I'm going to use intuition. Okay. What? I know you hate intuition, Dakota. The intuition I'm going to use, I'm going to show you why I'm going to use intuition on this question, Dakota. I'm going to use intuition because I have a one right here. Okay. Where should that one be in the long term? At the bottom row. Okay. So I'm going to use intuition here and I'm going to switch two and three. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can get fractions, your answer will still work out. You can divide by nine and all that stuff, okay? So by, by doing it this way, what's going to happen is Okay, why did I want to do that? How is this going to help me? How is that going to help me? going to help me? It is in fact going to help me because I'm going to get rid of this three now. Okay. Now you can divide by 9 and 22 and get fractions. This is the way to do it without fractions. 
and subtract three times. So what I got was one four zero zero five zero zero negative nine one. Can you take me through that? Yeah. Well, how would you get five? Okay. So what I just saw using intuition was I wanted to get a one here, right? So I just moved it down since it was already a one. Then I just cleared these as zeros because that then I get my y by itself. That's what I said. How did you get five? So what I did was negative three times negative nine is twenty-seven. Twenty-seven minus twenty-two is five. Negative three. Times negative nine. So it's like an order of operations. Yeah, negative three times negative nine is twenty-seven. And then subtract twenty-seven. Then twenty-seven plus negative twenty-two is five. <coughs> now, if you don't like this method, that's fine. You can divide, make it fraction on this step, and it'll still work out. Okay, I'm doing this right here the non-fraction way. So, Dakota, if you don't like intuition, that's okay. I did something different. That's fine. You can do, and you'll get the same answer also at the end, so that's fine. Okay. Um, so I'm going now and divide by negative five. Divide by five. So it's going to be one four zero zero one zero zero negative nine one fourteen negative one and negative two. What's the next thing I want to get rid of? I get rid of them both together here now because we have this. So I'm going to get rid of this uh, plus 9 times 2. And we're going to say subtract 4 times 2. So our final answer should be after all that work is 1, 0, 0, and 2. All right. 0, 1, 0, and negative 1. Zero, zero, one, and that's actually what I picked up my answers. So that's yeah, okay. Now, I can guarantee if you tried this on your own and got it successfully, did you did not do it the same way mm -hmm. that I did. Okay? And it is quite perfect. Okay. Uh, what's the answer? Okay. You see what happened there, okay? I'm still, I don't know how you guys do it. Here, person two. Yeah, go ahead. How much is this question? Huge. This is like, there's going to be two five. I'm going to tell you right now, there'll be two questions involving each of these on your test. One will involve where I give you like three points. So there's going to be one giant question on your test, and I'll tell you what it is right now. And if Austin is listening, Austin and Kayla, this out to you too, so let me put my, I'm going to speak slowly and put my microphone right here. On your test on Tuesday, there will be one enormous question where you have to find three planes. I will give you the planes in different forms, like three points or like vector form or whatever. You have to turn them all into scalar form for the first step and then solve it using a matrix. And that's going to be a giant question. Okay, I'm going to give you like a monster that will cover everything. On top of that, I'm going to give you a four by four to solve. Okay? You want to do a four by four now? Yes, you can. Okay. You probably have like a, tw a giant Rubik's cube. Yes. I'm going to do a, a four by four. Um, I'm lazy though, um, so I'm going to go to your. I don't want to make it up in my head right now. Can you guys know the choice assignment? I'll grab one of the questions off there. I think there's two four by four in the choice assignment. Or do you want me to make a new one? Up? You guys can have this to work on. Right. Here we go. One should be enough practice. Here we go. We have like three more You do? All the work quick. Is it example four? This is. Oh, this is a good one. I'm going to do uh, this is the piece. It's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1.
Okay, so the question just back to this one. How do you get how do you go from this side? So I did negative four times one is negative four, right? So four minus four is zero. Okay. Negative four times negative one is two. Negative four times negative one is four. Four minus two is two. So I did negative four times this entire second equation, right? So it's this equation minus four times the second equation. Okay, there's many ways to do this. The way I'm going to do this question is I'm going to go left to right. I take that one and I'm going to just sort of go in diagonal mode like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this hyper fast. I'm going to subtract 2 times 1. I'm going to subtract 5 times 1. And I'm going to subtract 4 times 1. And I'll probably go to the next slide here too. So it's going to be 1, 1, 1, 1. Negative 2. Uh, zero, zero, zero. Um, it's going to be one, negative four, three, eight, <coughs> four, negative four, one, two. Okay, luckily I already have a one here, so things are looking good. So I'm gonna right now I'm gonna add uh, four times two. And I'm gonna add two times two. I got one, 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 negative two, zero, one, negative four, three is eight, zero, zero, uh, negative four times four is negative sixteen. Trying to see an easy way to get integers here. The only way I can see to do integers here is to get to not to get to make this one a one. Right, so what you do is you do plus four times four. The other way, if you don't like that, you can divide by 20 and change the fractions, okay? But to do this, you go fraction and with no fractions, okay? So it goes to 1, 1, 1, 1. If the bell rings when I'm doing this, I'll finish it up and leave it online. Uh, you're over for this weekend. If you want more matrix questions, let me know. Otherwise, do your choice on a sheet. Shouldn't be cost Which one, sir? On the bottom row, that should be um, Thank you. See, that would have been the whole. That's the problem with these matrices, right? Um, if you make one little mistake, this is this is a tricky question, right? It's minus four. Do you want to know if the salt is seven? Yeah. Yes, it does. Great. It's a lot. It looks really cool. Three. Yeah. Our calculators cannot solve matrices. Okay, well, what is matrix? Mm -hmm. Well, can you use the matrix? You don't want to play matrix. And then 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 you don't want to play matrix. Matrix, so I store it in zero and I store it in matrix, and then you can. Matrix, 
so a little more than the nice date, but none of them are like the It's called reduced. Yeah. Forums are on my desk. I only have 20 people I can take. It's only people that I know that 